Ooh, it's a mess in here. Oh, right. Um, 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 I'm working on this Lenovo. God, I keep getting text messages. People like me. Um, this Lenovo. Here's what the front bezel looked like. I, I got it in total pieces right now. So, um, it is a L2250PWD. Stupid vile name, right? Um, and that's the back panel of it. Uh, um, I have owned three of these in my life. Um, the first two I fixed immediately and sold. One of them had a bad capacitor in the power supply. This was like four years ago. Um, one was totally fine, even though it was labeled as being broken for whatever reason. And then I tested it for weeks and it was fine. I even swapped boards between all three of these just to make sure all the boards that were good were good. Uh, but this third one, it had this weird problem where the the backlight would flicker between like a kind of a half brightness, I thought, and full brightness. And it didn't it didn't have anything to do with shaking it or bumping it or anything like that. So I didn't think it was like a cold solder joint or something on, on one of the CCFLs or something like that. I just had no idea what it was. And I shelved it kind of halfway put together um, until today. I pulled it out again. I decided I was going to tear it apart and see what's going on. Um, I was hoping that maybe it really was a broken solder joint and I just couldn't get it to react to rattling or anything like that. Um, but it ended up being a completely, well, now busted bulb. It's cracked right off. This is one half of it. Well, this is the good bulb. <laughs> this has a weird design. It doesn't use one big um, back part of the chassis. It has these two little sections like that. So the other bulb would be up there. And this is held on with a piece of, or these are held together with a long piece of that aluminum tape or whatever. So see it's, this overlaps where that would go. So this bulb is fine. Um, and I know it's not the power supply on this one because, like I said, I owned three of them at one point, and I tried all the power supplies and all the different ones, and they all worked except this one, no matter what I put in it. So definitely was not the power supply. Um, I pulled it out today, plugged it in, and it seemed to give me... It Well, first one, it was dim. I'm thinking half brightness, and I think that's true now. And it was doing two seconds to black, so it was like on and shut off. And you know, you shine the light on it really close and you can still see, yes, there's an image there, it's just the backlight's off. So I was like, well, crap, now it's it's gotten worse. Did the power supply go bad and I still have the, ex the original problem? Or has the original problem snowballed into something else? And that ended up being the case. Here is the bulb, it goes to the bottom. You see there's nothing attached to this end. Um, I don't know why I'm working on top of this. I want to keep this clean. Idiot! Actually, that's probably not super necessary. Well, uh, I don't know where to put it. Put it up here. Okay. <laughs> Here's the bulb. Um, and back when I was troubleshooting this the first time, these are crappy temporary solder joints. I thought maybe there's something wrong with the cord. Like I said, I thought maybe it was a cold solder joint or something like that. I noticed it was arcing in the actual plug, um, especially the one on the power supply board. Anyway, I got a new, um, ripped off the, the original plug jack thing on the board um, and then slapped this on and then slapped the female end of that just straight off the power supply so I can plug that in. And that didn't do anything. It didn't fix it at all. Um, I could actually get it to work if I shorted it out, I think. Um, allowing it to arc from this... From the white, I think. Allowing that to arc to the chassis. <laughs> I noticed whenever it flickered on all the way is when it was arcing to the chassis like that. And I was like, what is going on? I have no idea what's going on. Something was broken, uh, obviously. So when I pulled it out today and found this dead bulb... I was kind of confused, but then it makes sense with the new um, status of it where it was doing two, half and two seconds to black. So it was, God, I can't even freaking pick the dang thing up. Um, and it's, I, I trust you, I did not break this trying to pull it out. This is exactly how 
I found it. I'm trying to uh, get this thing to focus. Whatever. Um, it's this weird kind of like partially perfect break and then this little, I don't know. But it's broken right on this totally burnt little corner of it. And it's obvious that something horrible went wrong or it was really stressed at that point and maybe bounced around in the car or something on the way over here. I don't know. But I'm thinking this bulb was, in fact, bad or bad enough or the wiring was bad enough that it was flickering and arcing and going crazy. And then at some point, the bulb actually broke, shattered right there. And now we've got both. No flickering, but we've got half backlight and the two seconds of black syndrome. So I'm going to have to order a new bulb, which was fine. I don't mind doing that. But the huge bummer about this is while I wait for that bulb to come in, I can't just leave all this stuff sitting in pieces. There's the panel and the uh, backlight diffuser glass. Um, there's some more diffusers stuck to it. There's that thing. There's this, uh, wherever I put that. The other bulb, the good bulb. I can't just leave all that sitting out. I want to try and keep it relatively clean and safe, because if I break any of that, then I just wasted the bulb that I ordered, you know? So that means I get to put the whole thing back together, which is going to take forever. Um, and then when the bulb comes in, I get to take it all apart again. So. Yay! But at least I'll have this monitor working and I can figure out what the hell I want to do with it. Probably use it. Or if I feel like it, probably just sell it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll probably make another video when I do that. So thanks for watching and have a good one.